Third round of the prep soccer playoffs tonight, a battle of two Western Highlands Conference teams in 2A, Hendersonville at Polk. This is the third time these two teams have played this year. Wolverines won the first two meetings. They're down one nothing in this one. We pick it up in the first half. Jeremy Alsbrook for the Wolverines takes the free kick and buries it into the net. Game all tied up, one goal apiece. Fast forward to the second half. Bearcats now on the attack. Rutledge Riddle makes the nice move and from 25 yards out, Beats the keeper, nails it. Bearcats take the lead of 2-1. to one. Watch it again as Riddle scores a game-winning goal. Hendersonville beats Polk County 2-1. to one. You can hear the fans just chanting the whole game. They were really into it. And Polk's are big rivals during the regular season, so it's nice to beat them when it really counts. Don't let the ball in the net, you know. The coach kept telling me that the ball is like a grenade, and every time I grab it, I'm saving my teammates. And I just kept thinking that in my head, and, you know, it paid off. I was just man-marking number three. He's, he's their fastest player, and my goal was just to stop him from scoring, and I did. Chase upset tonight in another 2A game. The second seed Trojans fall 1-0 to Trinity. It was the first loss of the season, but what a great finishing, uh, season finish, 21-1. Thursday in 3A, it's number 6 Asheville at number 3 Carson. And in 1A, it's number 13 Thomas Jefferson hosting 21st seed Highland Tech. Early prep signing day, all sports with football able to sign players starting today. Luke Nopstein gives the rundown of the youngsters who signed today. Tess Harris is one of the best female high school basketball players in the mountains. She led Carolina Day to the state championship last season, and the Wildcats will have a great chance to repeat this year. She signed her letter of intent to play college basketball at Western Carolina University on Wednesday. A great day for Tess Harris and her family. I'm thankful that they've driven hours and hours of watching play and take me to tournaments, and then my brother for coming along all the time, and I know he doesn't want to sometimes, but he does anyways. At Asheville School, Connor Fenn was looking sharp in his jacket and bow tie as he put pen to paper to continue his wrestling career at Davidson. Fenn is a four-time prep All-American who has been a fantastic athlete at Asheville School. He says he can't wait to be a Davidson Wildcat. Well, it feels great. I've uh, wrestled since fifth grade, and just to continue uh, my career of wrestling, it's just outstanding. For the fifth consecutive year, an athlete from the Asheville Youth Rowing Association has been recruited to compete in college. Abby Hudspeth, a senior at T.C. Robertson, will continue her rowing career at UNC Chapel Hill. The future Tar Heel is excited about the opportunity. All the girls there were so supportive when I came on my official visit. Um, and I just feel like Carolina can provide me with, like, everything I need for my future. Congratulations to all of these outstanding athletes.